just don't remember where it is. How do I not know your page, eh? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. All right, all right. Page 47. Game Informer, May 2011. Let me give you a quick sh I don't know if you can make that out, but that there is Black Materia. A new album. Also, featuring somebody that I have in the house right here, which is MC Pennywise. I'm happy yeah, to be on the check, album. Check that out. I'm on an album that's on Game Informer, yo. <laughs> How many albums are even in Game Informer that are hip hop? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what's up, this man. This is true. <laughs> that's what's true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll keep it real. Sometimes you gotta Google yourself to see what comes up. You know what I'm saying? Google yeah. yourself every once in a while to see what comes up. Yeah, I see what comes up. That sounds so suspect. <laughs> it's real though, you know what I'm saying? Don't act like y'all niggas ain't. Oh, uh, no, no, I Google myself all the time. Exactly. Y'all like so. motherfuckers Google y'all. I ain't never Google myself. That's because you're not a rapper. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Care about that. Yeah, we care about that type of shit. Further confirmation of my non rapping rapping skills. Yeah, rappers. Yeah, you gotta know. You, you never know when you, you gotta know. Up. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know when you, you can, can be pop on up. some crazy website. Yeah, I, I found myself on websites I didn't even know of. I'm like, oh, the, damn, they, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, they. You don't even know that I'm a gamer and I'm nice too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm play around. I'll fuck you up in Street Fighter all day. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that Mortal Kombat. You played it? I haven't played it yet. Yo, I heard it was dope. I heard it was dope too. I was bro. watching the fatalities, yo. They're gross. <laughs> yo, they're gross. gross. They're gross. They're gross. Yeah. They're gross. <laughs> One dude. Who's the dude? Kung Lao? The dude with the hat? Yeah, yeah. He takes his hat off and he turns it into a buzzsaw and puts it in the ground, right at your legs, and then just grabs each of your legs and pulls you to it, like, yeah! So your body just. I have um, officially quit teaching. I am now a regular civilian. Uh, I just make music and and just hang out. I'm kind of an unemployed bum right now, but you know, I'm I'm loving life right now. It's, it's I feel like a huge weight is lifted off of me. Living the dream. Living the dream. I I, I specifically said that in my in my resignation letter. I was like, I'm going to chase the dream. You know, I hope you guys will you know be willing to to support that. How were your kids when you left? <sighs> you know, the kids were kind of hurt. I gotta say, you know, and, and it surprises me because they act so bad when I'm there. You know, I'm just like, well, maybe you want to get rid of me. And they're like, no, 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 it's not the same without you, you know. I can only imagine how you were as a teacher, though. Probably one of the coolest. Well, that's the problem. Nice guys finish last. So I try to be nice. Church. I spit some raps for them, you know, I have some fun with them. And then, and then what do they do? They act, you know. Little baby kids. Run yo, you know, so. Hey, they can rent somebody else over now. But I'm really gonna miss them, you know. Um, people tell me all the time, like, hey, you'll still be a teacher, you know, through music and through, you know, things that I'll do in my side life. I'll still be teaching, you know. Hopefully, I'll have um, just as much attention from the people uh, without teaching, but just teaching through the music. So that's been really exciting right now. I'm kind of scared, I gotta say. Like, this is a new beginning for me. I've never been out of work. You know what I mean? So definitely scary. I'm this is sure. scary, and at the same time, probably exciting. It's exciting, but you know, I haven't told my mom yet. So like, oh, I'm I'm yeah. still scared. Is I'm, your mom in Philly? Yeah. Oh, then you're good. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> I guess. She I won't know. smack you on the side. Right? She won't smack me. She'll just yell at me. No, I hear you. To no end. So I don't know, man. I'm I'm trying to think. So if you guys have any tips for me out there on how I can break this to my mom. I'd appreciate it. Drop some comments in the comment box. Please but, uh, do. I'm really afraid. I'm, you guys don't, that don't know, I'm an only child. And I'm a mama's boy. You know, I was raised with my mom. And, you know, we all we got. And, and you know, I, I feel like I'll break her poor little heart if, if I tell her that. So, I think she'll I'm understand. Afraid. Nah. You know, <laughs> she'll, nah. Have, she'll understand to an extent. Like, I'm not a mom, but... She's like, she broke her back, like, to get me through college and stuff. Wow, so it's one of those things where it's one like, if I'm not using that degree, I'm like a failure to her, probably. So I don't know. So the next segment, you'll basically be telling it. The next time we do another podcast, she'll be telling us what went down. Exactly. If you tell her at the If time. I tell her. I don't know. <laughs> What's up? Today, I felt like this was a good opportunity to get out and unwind a little bit. Uh, the Phillies are in town playing the D-backs, so I got to represent, you know, Philly down. Always got to represent for the home team. So, we 
going into enemy territory. But not really because most of the people I see are wearing Philly stuff. So it's a lot more Philly representatives here than I, I was expecting. So who knows? We might turn this into a. Kareem to check out a Miley Cyrus instrumental uh, for Party in the USA. So when I get back tonight, I'm going to actually listen to that. You know, if I come up with something, I might actually lay something down to it. You might even put me on it. Conversation. Ask her how she feel. If, how do you feel if I made a hundred thousand in this industry that has nothing to do with this industry, but this industry only paid me twenty thousand, and I can make a hundred thousand over here, using the knowledge that I have from this industry. But that's not just true. In another industry, huh? That's not true. I don't think I can make a hundred thousand dollars in music. Well, if you don't think you can make a hundred thousand dollars in music, then why are you doing it? Because I like to make music. Dr. the case, you want to go back to teaching. But I don't like teaching. I used to, but I don't like it. Anymore. All right, so, so you gonna go? All right, so, so what that says it, 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 you ain't going for the, the gusto. Cause only reason I'm in that with marketing is to make um, a million dollars, flat out. It's about making the big money. I want to make the big money. I don't want to make the small money, right? That's why you leave the teacher, right? No, no, it's to be able to do what I love and have a clear conscience about it, and and not come home every day stressed and tired and mad at the world. So how much do you want to make in music? I just want to make my ends meet. Honestly, if I can make what I make teaching, I'll be okay. okay. I know what I want. I want to be comfortable. But be comfortable. I want to have a little nest egg on the side. Mm -hmm. So you need 100 grand a year. Okay. Okay. What do you need? To, how many albums do you need to sell to make 100 grand a year? How many shows do you have to do? Wow. All right, I got to think about that.
What up, y'all? Today, uh, I gotta head to the big homie, I Rock Studio, Rock a Dollar. Much respect. Every mixtape I've worked on, which has only been one before this, I've worked with Rock a Dollar on at least one track. So, of course, it wouldn't be a teacher rapper hero without me going to visit the big homie. So, we're gonna get something done. So, stay tuned. <laughs> I do pretty much everything, and you know, I'm pretty sure you do too, Brandon. Yeah. And um, so I guess the ultimate advice. See, I'm just starting this full time thing. So, ultimate advice you say is to keep keep multiple hustles. Then. Keep multiple hustles and, and be good at a whole bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. You know, like nobody likes a yes a yes man around them. Yeah. But, but, you know, when you hustling, you gotta be, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can do that too. Yeah, I can do that. So, yep. you know, I mean, but, you know, when you, when you, when somebody playing, when you playing your music, you want an honest opinion and, and, mm -hmm. and shit like that. But when I say a yes man, I mean, like, I, I need to be able to do several different things. All you know, right. I can't, you know, it's, it's no way in 2000, in the age of the internet and, and where we're at right now that an MC is gonna survive without, um, without having multiple things that they can do, you know? Yeah. So. I see, I feel you. So, multiple hustles, jack of all trades, get get multiple skills. Get multiple skills, man. You know, <laughs> anything that you can do and, and, and inject yourself into, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, I've got a film coming out, you know, and I'll mm -hmm. show you some of the operation, you know? And so, you know, and I teach too, you know? Yeah. So, you know, Mondays and Tuesdays, I. I, you know, I teach, I help start the audio program at Collins College, so I teach recording. I should be teaching the film department right now, and that's how I got into music video. Yeah. So I'm doing music videos, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm Rock kinda, is the um, original teacher, rapper, hero, slash filmmaker, everything. <laughs> <laughs> His title wouldn't even fit on the screen. It would Man, just be... That shit. It would be... Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. I can't, let me turn the camera on him, man. Uh, I get some flow on it. Um, let me see if I can get this joint right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just imagine the pressure I feel from the block when you want to put them on, but don't want to go pop. And they will pull you foul if you do switch the style. And throw shade if you make it on top of the pal. But I won't stop kicking ballistics. I miss this feeling the bliss we had when we were infants. Cause the sign is living is killing me literally. I got bills and rent, including utilities. And I need lights and heat. Plus, I like to eat. Get a part-time gig. Do a couple nights a week. But that don't help. Cause now I'm broke and tired. Sneaking naps on the job. Hoping I don't. Don't get fired. Break time. Writing new raps on the napkin. And that can be the only thing that keep me from snapping. Just missed my dream by a couple of steps. Then I graduated from college with nothing but debt. But I'm near 30. That's as cool as says I was at 17. Pondering all the things out there that I never seen. And all I never done. Play the cards you dealt. But you can always pray for some better ones. Uh -huh. 